Hello, let us now talk about managing similar situations. In one of the previous videos, the link to which is added in the description, we discussed what are ML based situations, primary situations and similar situations. In this video, we will talk about some options on the BMC Helix service monitoring console that you can use to manage these situations. So let's get started. As you can see, I have now logged into the BMC Helix service monitoring console. Primary situations are formed based on the following options defined in configuration manage situations page. Correlation event time window. By default, this is set to 15 minutes. You can configure the time limit to determine whether correlated events will be part of a situation. Suppose you have a server on which you get free alerts for disk space utilization going above 80, 85 and 90 percent within 15 minutes. Now since the correlation time window is set to 15 minutes, the events will be correlated into a situation. Situation stability window. By default, it is set to 30 minutes. You can configure the time limit to add new correlation events to a situation. Now consider the same example of disk space utilization. Say a new a new situation is created at 5 pm. If there are any alerts coming in for the same host within situation stability window, they will be added to the existing situation. So any new alerts between 5 to 5.30 pm will be automatically added to the situation that was created earlier. Let us now talk about the advanced settings. So the first setting is show policy based situations. You can toggle this option to either show or hide policy based situations. By default, it is turned on. Now, the last two options are for similar situations. Expiry of similar situation group. By default, it is 30 days. You can set a maximum number of idle days for a group of similar situations to be marked as expired. A group is expired if no new similar situations are added to it within this period. After the expiry time, any new similar situation is not associated with the expired group. Similar situation detection window. By default, it's 24 hours. Using this setting, you can set a specific hourly time to look for similar situations and put them together into groups. A detection is based on the time specified here. If it finds two or more stable situations, it groups them depending upon how similar they are. These new situations might be added to a group that already exists or start a new group. If you wish to change any of these settings, you can change it by dragging the bar and save changes. So let us now see how these situations look like. So I am under the situations tab and all the situations are listed here. So first of all, let's see the type. Now this type here indicates that this is a ML based situation. So this logo indicates a ML based situation. Now this arrow next to the situation, it indicates that this is a cluster, uh, a cluster. So the situation here is, is a primary situation and there are five related situations which are a part of this cluster. So if you uh, expand this, you will see all the related situations. And if you see bottom, there are a lot of situations without an arrow. So these are, uh, these are uh, just normal situations with the, which are not a part of any cluster and uh, the related situations and other details are also shown here. Now if you click on this next tab similar situations you'll see uh, a cluster of similar situations so there are a few similar situations here and related events and other details are uh, also provided here. So this brings us to the end of the video thank you very much for your time have a great day ahead bye bye.